welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Tamala. If you like the video and you like what you see, then be sure to stick around and subscribe for new videos. We would love to have y'all join a part of our little family. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new recipe that I found on Pinterest. This is a crock pot pepper jack chicken. That's really hard to say. I said that five times fast, guys. I have not tried it yet, but it smells so good. It's been cooking like all day. I'm about to add the cheese on it. And if you guys want like the exact recipe that I followed, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But let's get into how you make it. So for this recipe, you will need boneless, skinless chicken thighs or breast. We chose to use thighs, a 10 ounce frozen bag of whole green beans, one bell pepper sliced, eight ounces of fresh mushrooms sliced, a half a stick of butter, and pepper jack cheese. You will also need salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder to season. So we're gonna start off with just slicing our bell pepper. After you get that sliced, just set it off to the side. And then if you have a crock pot liner, go ahead and put that in. I did not have any liners today, so I just sprayed my pan with some butter, and then I'm going to layer my chicken at the bottom and then season it. There are exact measurements in the recipe below if you check the description box but I just eyeballed it and added salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. After you get your chicken all seasoned you're just going to layer the rest of the ingredients so you're going to add your bag of frozen green beans your bell pepper and then your mushrooms and if you see like a big jump gap in the video between the mushrooms when I opened my mushrooms I realized they were not too hot so I had to run to the grocery store and get a new pack so after you add all that just put the lid on and then set it on low for five to six hours in the recipe she says if you do use chicken breast that can vary and it can be a little bit shorter So after about five hours when everything is done, you're just going to take the lid off and mix it. As you can see, I did not have to do any actual shredding with a fork, just stirring it, shredded it up perfectly. Then you're going to add a layer of pepper jack cheese to the top. I'm not exactly sure how many pieces of cheese that I used. I think she calls for 10 in her recipe, but I just added it until I had the top completely covered. And then I set my slow cooker because it was warm, so I set it back to high for just about five minutes until the cheese melted. So before I show this to you guys, I probably had it on warm for about two hours, then I stuck the cheese on, and then once I stuck the cheese on, I turned it up to high for about five minutes, just let the cheese melt, and we're about to give it a taste test. So I'm not gonna lie, there's probably dripping grease everywhere. When I looked at this recipe on Pinterest, I thought it was really weird because green beans, mushroom, chicken, cheese, I don't know, I just thought that was a really good combo, but I don't want to burn my mouth, but we'll see. That's really good. That's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm actually really surprised. So Devin won't be home for another hour or so. Otherwise, I would have him taste test this for you guys because it is beyond good. The ingredients are weird, which is kind of why I picked it because I was like, mm, let's try the weird thing. And the only thing that I did not add to the recipe was cumin. I've never tried cumin. I did buy it and I was gonna use it, but I was like, mm, if I make my dinner and it's nasty, I'm gonna be a little mad at myself. So I decided to not let this be the first time that I tried cumin, but I think it tastes just fine without it. I did go back after everything I cooked and I mixed it and I added a little bit more salt and garlic powder because I felt like it just needed a little bit more. But that is it for this recipe, guys. Like I said in the beginning, I will have the original recipe linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna check that out. But I really hope that you guys, A, try this. I hope you enjoyed the video, but I also really hope that you try it. If you do, definitely send me a message, let me know. But thank y'all so, so much for watching. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you you have not already and I will see you guys in the next one it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. And the way you go baby don't you know this remedy